scattered over several countries in the savannas and woodlands of sub-Saharan Africa, lives a unique animal known for its distinctive looks. The giraffe. It's the tallest land mammal on this planet and is considered an iconic creature among the continent's wildlife. But the giraffe has a publicity problem. Overshadowed by other well-known animals, such as the elephant or the rhino, it's slowly dying out. But nobody is talking about it. At this summer's CITES convention in Geneva, which regularly revises the Global Treaty on the International Trade in Endangered Species, advocates from several NGOs and certain African countries asked to list the African giraffe in its Appendix 2 to ensure greater protection of the species. L'annexe 2 n'interdit pas le commerce, mais il le réglemente. Vous avez des populations stables, vous pouvez les commercialiser, mais il ne faut pas que nous qui avons des, 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 une sous-espèce qui est en danger, il ne faut pas que notre sous-espèce rentre dans le commerce. Et ça, c'est ce qu'on est venu demander ici. Et Dieu merci, nous avons le soutien de beaucoup de pays. The giraffe used to live throughout the continent, yet its habitat is now limited to only a few pockets across Africa. It has been considered a vulnerable species by the IUCN since 2016. Its population has decreased by approximately 40% over the past 30 years, from around 150,000 in the late 1980s to less than 100,000 today. Nine subspecies of the gentle giant are especially at risk of extinction. This includes the Angolan giraffe, which is already extinct in Angola, and the Nubian giraffe with fewer than 2,000 individuals left. Both are listed as critically endangered by the IUCN. But what's driving this rapid decline? Who's responsible for it? The decrease in population of the African giraffe stems from the expansion of human presence and activities into the animal's natural habitat. Ecological changes, civil unrest, and local conflicts further complicate conservation efforts. The species is also threatened by illegal hunting. Giraffes are poached for their meat, which is consumed locally or exported. Giraffe skin, tails, and other body parts are prized by hunters who trade them. The upside is that the issue was finally addressed at this year's CITES convention. The giraffe was listed under Appendix 2. Many people have dubbed this a sort of a silent extinction. There's a lot of uh, uh, attention put on uh, other big charismatic species like rhinos and elephants. So this is great. It, it shines a light on the plight of giraffes and their decline. And uh, it puts in a critical uh, control measures to the international trade in giraffes. And it, what it will effectively do is uh, prevent illegal hunting and the, the subsequent trade in giraffes, which is a major threat to their continued survival. But what does a listing under Appendix 2 mean? The CITES Convention list is divided into three appendices, which define the level or types of protection for each listed species. Under Appendix 2, trade is not forbidden, but countries that want to maintain trade must make sure that it is legal and sustainable, for example, through the implementation of trading permits. They also have to determine the status of the species on their territories and provide global-scale trade data. The African countries which signed the proposal argue that there is indeed a non-regulated market for giraffe objects, resulting in the mixing of legal and illegal giraffe artifacts without any surveillance. If somebody illegally kills an endangered species of giraffe and those parts get taken, somehow shipped across boundaries to a country where you can legally export the killed giraffes, and they're all mixed up. You don't know where they came from. And so that's the current situation. With Appendix 2 on CITES, that could no longer exist because every giraffe that would be exported has to have a pedigree. You have to say, this giraffe came from this country.
Between 2006 and 2015, nearly 40,000 giraffe objects, representing almost 4,000 individual giraffes, were imported into the United States, the majority of which came from South Africa. Even though opponents say there's not enough evidence to identify trade as the main factor putting these animals at risk, the CITES countries overwhelmingly sustained the proposal, voting for the protection of the giraffe. This is a first and vital step to ensure protection of this iconic animal. But the most important thing is that we have to stop looking away.